In this movie, we're going to take a brief look at how you can optimize your computer to work with 360 video inside of both Premiere Pro and After Effects. Now, one great thing just to keep in mind is that a lot of the manufacturers, such as the Samsung Gear 360, they give you a ton of specs that you can use for working with 360 video. So they have their recommendation in terms of the operating systems that you should use, screen resolution, certain graphics cards, and just notice that if you want to work with the best stuff that's on your camera, your Samsung 360, you're going to want to work in 4K and you're going to need an appropriate graphics card. So they have recommendations to use and above. Also specifics for memory and the type of operating system that you have. And you can combine this with also what's required from Adobe Premiere Pro in your workflow. So you want to keep in mind to look at both Premiere Pro's recommended system specs as well as their minimum system requirements in order to work proficiently inside your 360 video environment. Now, on top of this, let's just say if you're using stitching software, solutions such as Color offered from GoPro, the Auto Pano Video Pro we looked at in the last movie, they also have their own system specs for working with your 360 video. Anywhere from recommended configurations of working with monitors to make the software look pretty to having appropriate SSD hard drives to run your actual footage from. So whether the, this be your hard drive as well as just all of the external drives that you plug in, you want to make sure that you're working with a solid state drive of a USB 3, if not higher, for your workflow. Last but not least, I want to just take a brief look at one computer manufacturer who's definitely delving into the VR workspace. This is Dell. They have some virtual reality solutions for professionals that you can see on their site. So you'll see the ready platforms that they have, the Precision Towers series and what's available, as what their minimum specs are, as they've done some research already in order for them to be VR ready. And that includes giving you an appropriate graphics card, memory, SSD, internal storage here directly on their website to find a virtual reality solution, whether it be that of a workstation or that to be mobile. So I definitely say check it out. They're not the only ones, but they definitely have some VR ready solutions for you to get up and running. And the last thing I like about Dell is this precision optimizer that you see in front of me here. What's so great about this is that you can allocate a little bit more power, such as in CPU, graphics optimization, system and power optimization towards Premiere Pro and After Effects for your workflow. It's just a great way to see, you can set up certain profiles if you use particular applications and you can optimize the way you work in those applications. Just a great free tool from Dell to use with their products. You'll also see that there's a ton of other features here for maintenance, i.e. if I need to do certain updates. I can see here that I have a critical update, a recommended and an optional update. It gives me a ton of information there, as well as an analysis of my overall computer. So just a great handy free tool to have to be your 360 VR companion when you're working in Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects.